after 1,314,000 minutes of me owning this boat, is this Old Town Autopilot 120 totally worth your $4,000 plus? Dollars? Is it worth you having your wife get super mad at you right now because you went to the bank, you took out $5,000, yes, $5,000 because you need to pay taxes, you need to register the boat, and also you need to get an amp outdoor lithium battery, 100 hours, and use coupon code alias5 to save you 5%, and also help me pay the bills because I gotta pay the bills. Is it worth all that? Yes. 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 Why? Uh, you wanna fish, right? You wanna go and catch fish? You wanna enjoy the great outdoors? I mean, you work Monday through Friday, you don't wanna kill yourself on the weekend, right? You wanna focus on, on the fish. You wanna focus on enjoying kayaking, right? Well, if that is what you wanna do, it is 100% totally worth your money. After me using this thing as much as I can, like whenever I have a chance, that's my go-to boat, it's still alive, it's still there, it's still kicking. I went out fishing today. I caught at least a fish, but at least I caught a fish. But of course it's not perfect and I'm gonna give you a bunch of negatives. So don't think this is just all glorious, uh, hey, everything is fine, blah, blah, no, 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 no. This is an actual review and it's gonna have plus and negative. So I've been using this kayak for over two and a half years. Yeah, that's how long 1.3 uh, million minutes is. And I love it. It's a great product. When this thing was announced, it took the kayak industry by storm. There were like riots, there were fire. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, a lot of people that loved the boat and a lot of people that hated the boat. And you still have those two camps. I found myself on the loving part of it because I love putting motors on kayaks. And this is not new. The first kayak I ever bought, a Lifetime Sport Fisher, whatever the name is, I put a trolley motor on it. And I wanted someone to make this, to make an old town autopilot what it is, which is a boat that comes with a trolley motor built in. A boat that was designed to take a trolley motor from day one. I owned this boat for more than two and a half years. I have taken it through all kinds of waters. It's been inshore, offshore, fresh water, all over the place. I had a lot of people use it. I have gone through a lot of trials with this boat and it's still there, still kicking. It's my go-to boat. I'm not afraid of putting someone on the boat because I know it's gonna be able to handle the person and also the person is gonna know how to use the kayak really fast. I could even take my bigger than almost me kid with me on that boat because it holds a lot of weight. I fish mainly in salt water and it's still alive. I mean, it has some issues like, for example, the connections after a while, they get dirty, but that's like a maintenance thing. I, it is my fault that I'm getting those disconnect. Like today I went out and the motor turned on four times. And here's a little clip of it. So guys, look at this. It's very rough for kayaking. Like you wouldn't have a good time coming here with a kayak because you get some swell. I mean, it's not like, oh my God, we're gonna die. But it's still, you don't want to be like getting wet. And, and this is like that, not the weather that, that you picture as kayak fishing weather. So this motor has turned off like four times already. And it always happens when there's a big splash, when there is current. So the reason I think it's turning off is because the connections are not clean whatsoever. I need to go ahead and clean the connections, grease them properly. You know, the wiring connection, the trolling motor and all that stuff. Make sure that there's no dirt, nothing in there. And I think it's gonna work amazingly after that. I think the power going to the trolling motor is not a hundred percent so whenever there is extra pressure that gets applied to it it will turn off because it just there's no extra juice but right after it turns off you can turn it on again other than the dirt and the wires getting destroyed and all that stuff the other issue you're gonna have is that it is a brush trolling motor so over time you're gonna have to replace those brush so in terms of like uh wear and tear and things that could happen to it is that over time your trolling motor is gonna be less effective it's gonna lose speed and you may have to do out of warranty maintenance but this is like past the two years basically because i own this boat for two years plus and my motor is still going strong and i have used a lot of it like i mentioned before so that's like the main sort of things that you have to think about but when you buy this boat you have a lifetime warranty on the whole and you have two years warranty 
on the motor itself. So I really don't think you're gonna have a lot of issues. And there is a lot of support out there. So if you have an issue, go to the Facebook group and they'll help you out. Now, it's not all rosy and confettis and all the stuff. The kayak does have some major problems. And the first one is the motor, right? In a lot of places, you cannot use the motor. There's a lot of ridiculous tournaments that don't allow you to get in the tournament with a kayak that has a motor, which is stupid. Also, there is a lot of no motorized sounds. Also, you're gonna have to register the boat, which is, for some people, the last thing they ever wanna do for some reason. The other issues that you have is another point of failure. You have to get a battery, put in more things on the kayak that could break, but also having all those things working makes your fishing a lot better. To me, the main issues that I have with this boat, and I, I fell miserably today. <laughs> I tried to do something to it and I, I couldn't do it. The main issue is lack of speed. In normal conditions, you're not gonna go faster than 3.8 miles an hour. You may go 4.1 miles an hour with the current, or if everything is flat and nothing is moving, you could go four miles an hour, but like, just shoot out, I mean, expect three and a half to 3.8 miles an hour. And if there's current, maybe two miles an hour current, you're probably gonna go two and a half, maybe two miles an hour. So the main problem that I have with this boat is the lack of speed. And I think the way that that could be remedied is by being able to put a bigger motor on the back. Something like a three horsepower type of motor that is gonna be able to propel this boat at least six miles an hour, I think. And then when you get to your fishing spot, you just deploy the trolling motor and fish. I don't think a trolling motor is gonna be able to push this thing past the 4.1 miles an hour, because you're gonna have to put a way bigger trolling motor, and that's, that's not gonna work. No, another thing that I think is a problem is Again, the trolling motor is a power train drive, but it's kind of like an old technology type of trolling motor. It doesn't connect to the amazing hummingbirds fish finder that they have. Like, I think Old Town being together with hummingbird, they should work together in Minkora and set up a more advanced trolling motor that you, you're gonna be able to just open your fish finder, say, hey, uh, just, just go home. Like, you, you draw a play. You say, I'm gonna launch from this place, I wanna hit this spot here, this spot here, and you just plug in the course, you press enter, and the boat does it. Go, you launch, go coasting through the coastline, you wanna hit the spot, that spot, that spot, like you don't even have to do anything, like the boat will do it itself, right? That would be amazing, but if that ever gonna happen, probably not.